obesity is in there, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, fatty liver disease, infertility. So, so why, why, why is that? Yeah, some, something that people think is the root cause of yeah. so many chronic diseases. And again, you know, why do you you're talking about insulin resistance being common, and certainly like this pre pre diabetic state being pretty common. Uh, what do you think the reason for that is? Yeah. Yeah. So the first part of the question, I unapologetically embrace the view that to some degree, that's italicized wording there, to some degree, insulin resistance is a common root cause for most chronic diseases. Uh, so I'm not claiming that it's the singular cause. For example, the connection between insulin resistance and breast and prostate cancers, the two most common cancers in, men and, uh, in women and men, respectively. I'm not saying insulin resistance is the singular contributor, not at all, but it is absolutely a contributor. With regards to Alzheimer's disease, insulin is not probably the singular contributor, but it is one, undeniably. And the same goes for polycystic ovary syndrome, uh, the most common uh, infertility in women, or erectile dysfunction in men, and fatty liver disease and hypertension. So when I, in fact, this question is the question I asked myself as an academic in, in, at my university. When I got tenure, I thought, I looked at the rest at, at my future career and I thought, do I want my career to be defined by the number of peer reviewed papers I publish in science journals? And I thought, no, that's not enough because most people will never read those articles. No one will ever get a direct benefit from them. And I thought, what would be the one message as a biomedical metabolic scientist that I would want to convey to people? And it was this one. It was that to some degree, most of chronic disease can be attributed to one common origin. 